Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today I want to talk a little bit about Dragon Ball Super Episode 70. That's right. There's 70 episodes in. It's about how many episodes I am into my Crusader Kings 2 campaign, actually. I'm even less episodes into that. Uh, but, obvious plugs aside, I want to talk about this for one simple reason. Yamcha is getting burn. That's right, Yamcha. Burn. What does burn mean? It means play, and it's a sports term back from back in my day, anyway, when I used to play. Uh, not baseball, but other sports. And, uh, you know, it's ironic I use this term, because Yamcha is a professional baseball player. That's right, aside from being arguably the least useful Z-Warrior ever, he is, in fact, a baseball player. Why is he the most or least useful? Well, even... Yajirobe had a role in, in the Goku Black Saga, and where was Yamcha when Freeze invaded? The same place he might as well have been when the when he fought Freeze on Namek. That is nowhere. Um, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Yamcha because, well, he was a major character in Dragon Ball. Now, I was always a Z person. I was raised on Z, and I never really watched the original, but I've read the plot summaries, and he was... Yamcha again and again and again. You know, he fought Tien Shin Han, and it was an okay fight, but he didn't win. Uh, he becomes Roshi's pupil, you know, and you gotta respect that he's always trying, at least early on in the series, to become better. You know, he he's jealous when Goku is picked to be a Roshi apprentice, and eventually he becomes one. So it's like he, he's trying. But at the start of the Saiyan Saga, according to DragonBall.Wikia.com, he is a player on the Titans, number double zero. He plays baseball. Why is that relevant? Because guess what? Episode 70 involves Champa coming back with a baseball team. Why? I don't know. It's filler. It's supposed to be fun. It's, it's Toriyama getting to just do whatever the hell he wants with his characters. And God bless him. He's got every right. He's the one who created this franchise that we all know and love. So, um... Yeah, Yamcha. He's gonna be playing baseball now, apparently. And that's cool. I mean, you know, that's it's good that he actually gets play. He gets burn. He, he's relevant in some fashion or another. Um, Toriyama has said, and it's been echoed by far better Dragon Ball scholars than myself, like Masako X, that... You know, Toriyama has had problems with power scaling. Power scaling is the idea that, like... You know, as the series goes on, feats become doable by everyone. You know, Yamcha is technically a planet buster, and probably has been since the end of the Saiyan saga. I mean, yeah, he dies to a Cyberman, but, you know, he, he trains with King Kai. He could probably blow up a planet if he wanted, probably easily. And yet, we don't think of him as powerful. We think of him as everyone's bitch. Because he kind of is. But, you know, Yamcha is one of these guys who's got, like, a low power level, but... Eh, who cares? Because, all right, sure, he hasn't been training. Sure, he hasn't been a star, but he's still, like, a desert bandit originally. And he still knows how to do a Kamehameha. You know, like, that's pretty freaking powerful. And I know that the Frieza Returns saga kind of screwed everyone's power scaling up a bit when Gohan couldn't even take on Phase 1 Frieza. It makes no sense. I mean, like, really? Even Gohan? Even Piccolo? Piccolo lost to, like, a scrub? What's up with that? I don't like that. Like, Piccolo fought Android 17 toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and he only got stronger since, because he's not one of these people who gave up fighting. So I don't understand what's up with the power scaling there at all, just on a basic level, but... You know, Yamcha is going to get some play. Is it going to be just one episode? Probably... Is there any reason I'm particularly excited about this? Yes. Why? Why does this even matter? Because now you're going to get to see Yamcha as just one of the other Earth characters who's up to something, for Christ's sake. I mean, we've seen Tien fight a little bit in, in Dragon Ball Super, and that's cool, but, like, I want more Tien. I want more Yamcha. I want more Chaozu. I mean, we saw Roshi break out before we saw... Yamcha, I don't know where to go with that, but um, I want to see the humans actually have a complicated problem that they can't run to the Super Saiyans for. And I'll throw Piccolo in there. I'll even throw Gohan in there because of like his demystified. Now he's a Super Saiyan again thing. I don't know. 
deal with that, Toriyama. Have fun with that. But, like, give us a series where it's not Goku and Vegeta that have to save the day. Maybe they can't save the day for some reason. Um, don't make it that they're just off training to do something even more important. Make it real, like, Goku, when he had the heart virus with the androids, it was a legitimate way to bench him. And it gave Vegeta some shine. And I love Vegeta, and I want him to get more shine, too. In fact, I'd rather him be the star of the series than Goku, but, you know, whatever. We have these assassins coming. I don't care if Goku is off fighting Hit or whatever, and Vegeta's off fighting Hit's best buddy. Give us a situation where the humans get to be the heroes on their own. They don't. There's no wait for Goku. There's no stalling. There's no, like, oh, we're just doing this until Goku gets here. No, 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 no. Give us the humans actually accomplishing a major task and throwing the series in, into, like, hey, they're the ones who save the day. Because it's, yeah, the Super Saiyans are cool and it's awesome, and but the humans can fight, too. Like, you don't think Tian Shinhan, after being able to hold his own against Stage 2 Cell, could somehow break out a beating? I don't know. Um, this is my first video about Dragon Ball, by the way. Just, just I mean, like, first real one. And, uh, you know, it's really just like a couple of pictures, and it's not much, but if you enjoy hearing me ramble about Dragon Ball, leave a comment, tell me I'm wrong, tell me Yamcha sucks, because he does, we know he does, we're not doing this because we love Yamcha, I mean, it'd be great if he could get some redemption, maybe that'd be a good storyline, but as he stands, yeah, we know Yamcha's everyone's bitch, except for maybe Chaozu's, but it's the fact that we're gonna get to see more of the universe of Dragon Ball that I like. Because, alright, they had an MMO, and they've had all these different weird games where they fly off into the Xenoverse, but how about the actual canonical, semi-canonical, you know, alright, we're kind of forgetting GT exists at this point, but Dragon Ball Super as its own series, as a canonical, together, coherent story, let's have some more of the characters we love from the old series, because, yes, Dragon Ball Z, especially in the Buu Saga, just became the Saiyan show. What about the rest of the planet that relies on, like, people? Like, I know Krillin's a cop now, and that's pretty cool. And I know in the fight with the Frieza army, Android 18 goes like, well, wait a minute, hold on here. And they should, by the way, bring back her real name. If their names are Lapis and Lazuli, they should bring that back. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch Abridged. Watch, like, episode 40-something of Abridged. It's there. I'm not going to give you the precise one. You find it, you'll enjoy it. It's, it's as good, if not better, than the original. Um... But, you know, you take all of these characters that have a relevance, like Android 18. Like, she's really freaking powerful, actually. She's stronger than Krillin. She even says as much. She's like, I'm stronger than all of you. Why don't I go fight? And Krillin's like, no, protect our daughter. That's good. But, like, Yamcha should do something. Krillin should do something. They should all have to get together. Maybe not Krillin. He's a little... He retired. But, you know, all the guys who didn't retire. Give them some burn. Let's let... The humans have their day. And I'm not even going to throw Majin Buu in because he's there, he's around. But, like, I don't know, man. Give the humans something to do where they actually accomplish a thing. I'll throw one more example out. Like, when the Ginyu Force attacks King Kai's planet after they all are dead and the humans have to fend off the Ginyu Force, like, we see how far the humans have actually come. And that's kind of cool. I want to see more of that. I mean, humans and whatever Tien and Chaozu are, like... Let's see more of that. That's my thoughts. That's Frost's thoughts on this. So, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the like, subscribe buttons. I'll probably do, like, anime videos once in a while. I mostly play video games. And not even much of that. Mostly strategy, you know. But I like anime. I like talking about it once in a while. And, and you know, I, I've talked about Berserk. Uh, you ever see Samurai Deeper Kyo? Maybe I'll make a video about it. Until then... Thank you for joining me, and as always on this channel, La Paz.